G'day everybody, welcome to Loress Studio. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I, obviously today I'm just fixing things. And I have this painting here, which I, I do have a video, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Well, if you're watching this, you probably would have seen it. But anyway, I love this area here. This area, I went overboard with the torching and stretching and it's just, just being silly. So I'm just going to mark off now the areas that I like, which is pretty much half a painting, just with my Sharpie. And hopefully it won't leak. You don't have to do this. Um, I just like to do it. I just want to mark off the area that I love, which is that area. Oh! More than half. Look at that. How cool is this? I do like these gold bits. This is molten gold, which I've added afterwards. And it's still a little bit wet um, because the resin was already kind of curing. You can add pigment to the wet resin and it'll grab it. But I've done it a little bit late. So I'm going to try and preserve some of the gold. But I absolutely love this area with the white and the gold. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some white here and um, just see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to mix up a little bit of resin. I don't need a lot for here. But I won't be pouring any clear over this just yet. Because I don't want this part to move. I want it to sit and not go into there. So I'll be back. Okay, mixed my resin, so I just want to, I just mixed about 75 milliliters of it, don't need a lot, I just want to put some clear resin in this cup here, because I might need some clear resin, you never know, but uh, most of it I want it to be white, and I might actually put a little bit more in here, because you never know, I might mix a little bit of that beautiful purple in with it. And just add a tiny little bit for a bit of accent. <coughs> In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, so what we got. This is a really amazing pigment here. Just thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. The purple looks really good with, with the gold and the white. So I might just do the purple, which is just a purple rain. Beautiful purple. I could put glitter and all kinds of things in there, but I don't want to. And Angel, well, actually, oh, I know which color we're going to put in there. But I think it might be a little bit too different. Okay, so I won't. Sorry. Don't worry. Just having a brain fart happening. So, clean stick. Or two. Let's go with a little bit of this. Purple rain, purple rain, right in there. Mixes beautifully, like that. Put my light on, just checking. And you always scrape. I had a student here um, the other day, Angela. And I haven't had a student in here for a long, long time. Um, I usually, I used to do a lot of it, but not um, not anymore because I just don't have the time. But it was such a lovely gesture by her husband, who has um, arranged for her Mother's Day gift to, to have uh, uh, a class with me, which was amazing. Three hours we spent together, did a couple of pieces, a couple of coast, coasters, and a pendant. Beautiful was so lovely right let's go now might just add, put a little bit of clear because it's always cool to have a bit of clear in front of your white when you're doing that uh, the the swipe or the whatever you're doing and then I just get rid of some and then I'm gonna put some white in there actually about ten percent. Ten percent of white coming in. Just eyeball it. It's about ten percent. 
give it a stir. I'm still in my PJs. Sunday, it's Mother's Day, and I've been fixing things up. I've got too many to fix, only because I don't like the way they look. And the resin that I'm using today is Aldex Crystal Cast. It's a little bit on a thinner side, so if you like, if you like it like that, this will be perfect resin for you. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go over. Now I've got to be careful now because I kind of I'm going to go a little bit over that line. That's all right. I can use a spatula on my finger to fix that. But I don't want it to go any further than that. Just going to add a little bit more clear here. Clear here. Use the whole lot and have some more white in between, just covering those areas. I do like the gold, so I'm trying to preserve some of it. It's actually heaps. You never know, some people use so much resin, like this would have been enough to cover that whole area. I still got that purple to pop in. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna tap that down a little bit. Actually, we want to get some of this clear over that gold before I start blowing. Now, all those areas which are there, I'm just going to go around with this purple now in fact I think I'm gonna lose that gold I'm gonna try and avoid the gold and just try and get as much purple as possible in there and not disturb too much of that gold because the gold looks really nice with the with the white but um, went a little bit overboard again and well I've used the hair dryer on on this part up here and I don't know if I'm going to be using the hair dryer here let's see what happens and uh, that was a double dutch double dutch piece This is going to be something different all together, all over again. Grab some of that, pull it over here because I need it there. Most of that probably I will lose. Okay. I've got some neighbors arguing next door. Oh, how appropriate. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Already stuff happening. Dabbing that. And let's get. I'm going to have to turn, turning around, turn it around this way because I want to blow that way. Move this painting out of the way first because I don't want any trouble with that. Okay, let's go. That's different all together again. Wow. Really, really interesting. Really interesting. 
completely different. There's nothing similar to what I have here. But it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. What I might do is, I might mix some resin now and add it to this because I think I need to bring that a little bit closer and just uh, see what happens. And I've got some more purple left which I could add maybe here to give it that second coat. Okay, let me just mix some. Oh my god, look at all the beautiful trippage. Right, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So I've got some clear resin now. I just have to make sure that I'm not leaking, that I've got enough coverage here underneath so that I'm not sort of leaking too much. Anyway, uh, here we go. Just putting that, adding that clear on the edge here and bringing it to the edge which it doesn't have a problem just moving all by itself I want to cover some of these areas that I want to keep which are pretty cool I think that back there looks awesome Try not to mess it up. And we will use get rid of all of that. So we'll use the blowtorch to move some of that over this way. And I have leveled this this board is leveled really well, but I think maybe the actual board, which is timber, and it could be a little bit warped. That's what happens. So I'm just pushing it over that way. We'll pick some of the stuff from the bottom and bring it back up here. Possibly. Preserve it. Waste not, what not. I was taught, and I still try to use that as much as I can okay that looks cool now I do have some of that purple left which I want to kind of create some let's push this over this way a little bit help it along let it merge there with that white and then we'll blow the white over it this way a little bit you get some really cool effects with these this kind of uh, layering don't mind it coming off because the edges of this timber is pretty rough so I like having that there just to make it a bit smoother which it does now see that's kind of coming over this way now let's get a little bit of this just a tiny little bit there and just follow that line oh bugger supposed to follow the line like that now let's get the heat gun I will flip it around this way now because I can push over that way wow that looks so awesome my goodness
really lovely. Really lovely. I might just... <clears throat> I think I might just add a little bit more white in there. I'm just going to mix some white first. <clears throat> I know, I know, I'm fiddling again. But where is my white gone? There it is. Just a little bit more white. Oops, I think that's probably a bit too much. And try to... That bit there is great. I think I just need a little bit over here, just there, and push that down a bit, hopefully, maybe a little bit there as well. Let's see if I can do it. I didn't want to do too much of it because there is resin underneath there already and it's heating up whenever I do that so I did not want to you know mess around with it too much so sometimes it's not easy although I love this area how it's all pulling down like that it looks pretty cool I don't know if it fits the actual painting not sure. Just pulling that up a little bit. Fixed it now. Here she is. I'm really pleased, even after all that fiddling, I got to save some of my white and my gold, and this purple just kind of sliding over some of that white effect over the the cells that were underneath, real wispy kind of areas, and that gold peeking from underneath there. I'm not capturing the depth. All of this area is covered. Some really nice cells everywhere. I'm real pleased with this one. What do you think? Let me know. Oh my goodness, I'm really happy with this piece. I've got a lot of photos that I've um, kind of uh, added to the end of this video and I didn't want you to just be staring at them without any sound so well some really cool details there's a lot going on in there and uh, there's a lot of depth that wasn't captured by the camera which is a shame but uh, really pleased really pleased at one stage I wasn't sure how it's going to turn out but it turned out pretty pretty good so thank you all for watching and hope I uh, see you again in another video bye